It's raining today. It's been raining a lot. So I figured while I'm stuck inside, I'd tell you what my days here on the farm have been like. This is what I wake up to pretty much every day. Birds, dogs, horse. The birds are northern bluebirds and it's totally fascinating watching them go in and out of this hollow tree trunk. The bright ones, the blue, the, those are the males and the more sedate colored ones, the kind of brown, those are the females. And I've always found, I've always found that so interesting that in the animal world, it's the males that have to dress up and be beautiful for the females. You know, unlike in the human world where we're supposed to put on the makeup and the heels and get the plastic surgery and all that to impress the guys. I don't know why it's different. You guys out there, I want to see some bright blue plumage. Come on. The dogs. This one is Pinky. He's usually waiting for us when we get up in the morning because he and Captain have become pretty good buddies. Though so Captain gets cranky at him from time to time. It's hard to tell whether he's being cranky or not though because Captain doesn't seem to be capable of playing without barking. It can get pretty noisy. This is Pinky's brother, Tucker. Tucker is more, I guess I would say more emotional, more standoffish, less boisterous, but together they're like, they're like dynamite. They're only a year old. I don't think Tucker is quite sure what he thinks of me or really even of Captain yet, I guess. And then there's Cheyenne. I introduced her a little bit in the first farm video. She's my neighbor. I know it looks in these shots like she's fenced in, separated from us, but in reality, she can walk over here anytime she wants. When Captain and I are like up and about and around outside the bus, she kind of keeps her distance. But when I take my first look out the window in the morning, she's usually hovering like somewhere right nearby. And this morning, before it started raining, look where I found her. She seems to like sharing her space with the bus, at least. Maybe with us. I don't know. We're still getting to know her. Hi. Are we friends now? I don't know a lot about horses. They're beautiful. I, I like them, but I'm pretty allergic. It's not so bad now, but when I was a kid, my allergies were terrible, so I didn't spend much time around horses. I mean, well, there really wasn't a lot of opportunity to either in the suburbs of Boston. We didn't have a horse or anything. None of my neighbors had horses. I'm not sure what that face means. Another thing I wake up to most days is still a fair amount of anxiety. And I don't know where exactly it's coming from, what I'm anxious about exactly. My, my mother's part of it, I think. But I think it's just that I've had such a huge to-do list for so long and it's hard to let go of the idea that there's something I'm supposed to be doing at every moment. You know, I'm constantly trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. And I've kind of figured out that when I'm feeling that way, the best thing for me to do is to just get out and move. Cheyenne seems to know that too. She usually starts her day with a run. It's beautiful to see. She's a gorgeous horse and since she has access to most of the 10 acres, she can get in a pretty good gallop. But running isn't the only exercise she likes. <laughs> Cheyenne is a swimmer, and that is definitely not something I've ever seen before. Then it's time for another run. Pinky and Tucker have the move thing down too. They barely ever even stop. They're, they're all over this property and the one across the lane and the one across the, the other street. And they have the ticks to prove it. That's the one thing that really weirds me out here is this place is full of ticks. Captain doesn't get a lot though. I think cause maybe cause his fur is really slippery. I don't know if that's a thing, but for whatever reason, yeah, he he's ha only had a few on the inside part of his ears, but I mean, it's nothing like what Pinky and Tucker get, and I get them more than Captain. 
I woke up with one on my cheek this morning. Ugh. So when we get that move urge, Captain and I take a walk. Usually when we do that, Pinky and Tucker go with us because they like to show us around. We sometimes go up the gravel road, but that dead ends at a neighbor's property, so it's not too far to go. So sometimes we go across the field, all the way up and around, and when we do that, we follow the tracks that Cheyenne makes. The ground is really soft and wet, so anywhere that she runs, there's basically a rut that fills with water. I stay close to him, but I let him lead unless he's going someplace dangerous. When he's ready to eat his breakfast, he just turns around and goes back to the bus. You know, it doesn't matter where we are, he knows that's home. After the two of us eat, I write for a few hours while Captain snoozes. Oh, there he is snoozing now. <laughs> I'm getting work done. I'm not getting as much done as I'd like because I'm still, I'm still not super focused right now, but I'm trying. After lunch, we walk again, usually up the main road. It's funny to call it a main road because it's such a minor road, really, but we go up there, there's a creek up there. I love how it runs over the road. This whole area really reminds me of New England, though it's a little wilder, it's more intense, you know? It's, New England is so settled, you know? The, there's barely an unincorporated inch in the whole state of Massachusetts. I mean, Massachusetts has rural areas, but they're for sure not as rural as this is. We usually visit at some point with the humans. I guess I should introduce the humans, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is Bliss. She owns the place. I raised my kids, had a whole life, and decided that I wanted to change my life drastically. And I wanted 10 acres, and I wanted a whale, and I wanted a pond. Woo! Uh, <laughs> just a second. And uh, found this place online and it had everything and more. Bliss lives in a big garage that's been converted to a house. She has amazing style and it's really incredible inside. The main house, the farmhouse, and it's gonna be a while before that's livable. So she's in the garage, but the garage is not a garage anymore. It's, it's great. The other person who lives here is Renee. I don't have any video of her, unfortunately, not yet, but this is where she stays. It's a little souped up horse trailer. Renee is really crafty. She's made it pretty cute inside. On the other side of the smaller road, across the way from Bliss's property is a land trust. It's just wide open space that apparently can't be developed. That amazing big red barn is actually on the land trust property, but it feels like it's on Bliss's property because it's right there. All around here, there are apparently amazing parks, state parks, national parks, national forests. I had no idea Missouri was so full of parks. I can't visit any of them right now though because I'm still stuck in the mud. I haven't really made a big effort to get out because frankly, it's given me a really good excuse for not following that urge to run home to Massachusetts every time I hear something about my mom having any kind of problem. I kind of decided it's good for both of us if I stay away for a while and do my thing because not only will I be able to go back there kind of refreshed, but also I think I was becoming kind of a control freak when it comes to my mom. Not exactly trying to control her, but trying to control her experience of the world she's in now. And my hope is that with me out of the way, She's gonna learn how to navigate it on her own a little bit better, and I'm gonna learn to let go and let her do that. Either that or she's gonna to totally fall apart, and that's what I worry about. But my brother's there, and the place has a great staff. It's not like she's really fending for herself. Anyway, being stuck in the mud kinda of helps right now, because I can't run back. I still get this weird paralysis, though, you know, the lack of focus and the paralysis. I mean, I'm not literally paralyzed, it's just this mental paralysis, which is why I haven't really kept to the schedule that I set for myself for making videos. I just get, I, it, it becomes impossible to do anything. I just freeze up still. I've been sleeping a lot, and well, I mean, a lot for me. <laughs> I, I think it's leftover COVID, some of it, but I also think, I mean, I wasn't even sleeping four hours a night the last few months at the house, so I guess I'm kind of making up for lost time. But all in all, things are getting better. Except that it keeps raining. And I was really hoping to escape from all weather issues. I guess that's not really possible. 
Hasn't really happened. But when it stops, wow, this place is gorgeous. Cause I feel a change coming like a clean rain pouring down on me. Oh, and this happened after the rain. Right. Cause I feel mm -hmm. a change coming like a clean rain pouring down on me. Yeah, I feel the change coming. More to come. Like a clean rain.